What's happening out there, everybody? Thought I'd drop in this morning on this fine Wednesday before Thanksgiving. See how everybody's doing. All right, let's click over to the office. Hope y'all doing okay. Um, got to talk to you a little while yesterday. I had a pretty good time. Got a whole lot of comments. And just thought I'd go live again. After this, I'll be off the net for a little while enjoying some time with my family. But wanted to pass on a couple things. First of all, Grunt Style, who I was, I'm an ambassador for, and supposed to be doing more videos, promoting some of their cool stuff. I wanted to give you this code, so if you want to buy something for your loved ones or your soldier or sailor, um, you can go ahead and do that. What's up, Chris? What up, Ron Ron? Uh, I'm going to pop on over here to the drill hall and give you this code. All right. Um, I think everybody knows Grunt Style gear. They make some cool t-shirts, a lot of patriotic stuff, a lot of blow stuff up cook meat drink beer type shirts that we all like use this code word get some because through black friday all the way through monday you'll be able to get 25 percent off i know this sounds like a commercial but it's not i just thought i'd pass this on to you you can check in i, I got some of these i like let me see here whoa that ain't it and i'm pretty much messing this up i think anyway well there you go go to the website grunt style i'll put a link down below and use that link and type in this get some you get the best deal you possibly can all right we got people chiming in what up chris what up dp reed gareth oh let's see fort Lenwood. all right oh listen brady what's happening over there in iraq man i hope y'all doing all right tell everybody over there that i hope you get home soon we'll be thinking about you this thanksgiving all right um let's see here i'm also gonna let me go back to my office all right, <clears throat> so wanted to pass on the grunt style, that code right there. You can back up and look at it, and I'll put it in the description so you can get to it easily. Also know that I'm, uh, I'm getting my own Amazon page. I applied this whole thing. It was all this crazy stuff, but I got my own Amazon page coming up where recommended little top gear. Most of it's going to be field gear and stuff like that. So if it's uh, any type of hunting, camping, things like this, I'm going to consolidate it for you. You can click over there and see if there's anything you like. And I'd appreciate you purchasing it through there. Anyway, you'll see my name and picture, my beautiful mug on there and everything like that. Let's see. Well, we got some people over in Poland. What's happening, fellas? Well, good morning, Stock. Well, I'll be honest, I kind of like ringing y'all up in the morning first thing in the morning get the day going there's people from all over the world usually chime in on here which is pretty cool my boys in australia got a huge fall in australia thanks for tuning in danny i appreciate it um and i tell you what if there are if there's anything y'all like to review like any type of gear or anything like that that you just want to know my thoughts now granted i'm just a three foot tall cartoon person but if you want to know my thoughts on certain gear that i thought well work pretty well whether camping or mostly in the military holler at me and i'll throw some on there and we'll talk about who let's see good morning lisa good morning vincent listening from andy's listening for bragg well andy we ain't too far apart i've been thinking about maybe going up there to bragg soon check out special operations museum been a long time since i've been up there fort hood's in the house lord i know fort hood well went to air assault school at fort hood I got some pretty funny stories from up there, but we'll save those for another time. So tell me what y'all's plans. Well, unfortunately, I know you all that are in Poland and Iraq, your plans are kind of locking down or OPSEC. But what are y'all's plans here stateside? Y'all heading home? Either one to know if I can do a review of Wild Tiger. Oh, man. I'll be honest with you, Ethan. I didn't like Wild Tiger. I think they had enough caffeine. Didn't they put nicotine in Wild Tiger? It's like smoking a pack of cigarettes. The marshmallow suit. For, for those y'all not in the military, the marshmallow suit's a giant piece of gear that's issued to you. And if you're in a light unit, chances are it never comes out of your locker. Now, it's warm, but usually I'd smoke a Joe if I saw him wearing that shit. Because all you're going to do is just sweat then freeze later on. Let's see. Cohen chiming in from Australia. Welcome, buddy. All right, I'll go. I may go check it out, Andy. I'm gonna head up there pretty soon. Wild Tiger, y'all crazy? Y'all crazy? Wild? Do they even make Wild Tiger stateside? Or they ban it? I think they ban that like with mini thins. Y'all remember mini thins? You get them at the convenience store. Basically, it was a shot of ephedrine. I remember waiting on a helicopter to come in NTC and all of it. Well, back when I had hair, all the hair standing up on my head. Listening to Number of the Beast. Times were simple. It was good times. 
All right, let me pop back over here. If y'all just tuning back in, I want to give you this code. There we go. Code or get some. So again, when this video is done, I'm going to put the link over. And you can get, put in this code word, get some off this link, you get the best deal on all their shirts and stuff. Some of my favorite ones are the, um, uh, hold on a second, let's see if this works. I am that ain't it. Stand by. I'm going to take you over that grunt style and show you some of my favorite shirts, especially the beer one and the bourbon one, two of my favorites. Sorry, I know I should be better at streamlining this. I apologize. Ready? BAM! Alright, there we go. Now you look down here at the bottom down here, you can see some of my favorite ones. I like this right here, but this is my favorite. The beer shirt. America. That's all I gotta say about that. I like this one. If you're a fan of bourbon, check this one out. All these you can get 25% off. I'm gonna give you one more and then I'm gonna get off this because it sounds like I'm just selling product. Really, I just came to hang out a little bit. Ah, Burgall. You know my thoughts on that cat. Stepping away now. All right, let's get back to the office. Let's get back to where I can see what you all are saying. All right, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. What's that bat on? I do. There's plenty of rivets around here. I'm gonna have to, Lance. I'm gonna have to go look and see what that Amazon thing is you put up there. You found Wild Tiger. I got an echo going on. Stock says. Do I have an echo right now? Holler at me. Is it just in this page or the other one? Hmm. I think I may just have it in that other one because I think I had two audio sources which might be jacking it up. If you get an echo from me right now, let me know. Peter says he needs help with screenplay and movie ideas. Lord. Man, I'll, t I'll be honest with you. Screenplay and movies is a rough road to go. I know there's a whole thing called a one cheat. I've personally never successfully written a screenplay, so I don't know how much I can help you. All right, Vincent, I appreciate it. Okay, the other one. I know what it is. It's an audio problem. I'm not going to jack with it right now when I'm live. Anyway, anyway. Top three favorite things to eat on Thanksgiving. Go. Just going to stand by while you type them in. <laughs> Madeline says I was trapped in a glass cage of emotion. I get a little emotional during the holidays. It's good times. All right, Chris. Thanks, buddy. All right. My number three favorite thing to eat over Thanksgiving is the sweet potatoes with the marshmallows. I read an article the other day that said that's not actually, that only came about when people were trying to sweeten up the sweet potato, trying to get America to like it. Then that stuff caught on. But personally, I love the sweet potatoes with the marshmallows. <laughs> eat the Major wants to know how you join the Terrain Association. Oh, Ethan. Hey, I hope you're asking me to be funny. That or somebody's fucking with you. I'm just saying. You might ought to just go Google Terrain Association and you'll find out exactly what you gotta do to join. Huh? <laughs> Boy, Ethan. Alright, number two favorite thing is the turkey sandwiches after. Toasted bread, mayonnaise, cranberry sauce, and the turkey, dark meat preferably. I like the dark meat better than the white meat. That's just me personally. All right, let's see, let's go down some. Turkey MRE, oh nice. Mac and cheese, I like some mac and cheese. It's slowly adding to my girlish figure though. You're welcome, Sean, I like doing these videos. Bat, bat on. Boiled turkey 35 minutes and crawfish boil. Boy, you couldn't be more Cajun. But that shit's delicious. Rhonda, Rhonda, did you, fireball? You like fireball for things? Let me tell you, in the La Hood house, everybody's got a little mini bottle next to the turkey. It's an awesome tradition. The Lime Tribute Ribbit? I hadn't even heard of that. I may have to go check one. Only like some of these convenience stores up on, up the road from where I am have actually got rivets. I'll have to go check that out. All right. Well, all right, folks. I just wanted to touch base with you again. I'm going to put a link to the grunt style and the code below. And I'm going to put a link to my little top page through Amazon. As Amazon thing's kind of a new thing. So it's a work in progress. If there's something 
you want to take a look at or something you want to review, whether I think it's worth a shit, then just write me and let me know. Huh? I'd, like, I'd like to kind of get into that whole line of work, maybe just talking about the things that work in the field and things that don't. If you've been in the military, some of the things them Joes roll out to the field with are pieces of shit. So we try and give them a little bit more guidance. And if you got family or loved ones in the service, maybe we can give you some ideas for Christmas coming up. Huh? A turkey flavored rip it. Oh, uh, Peter says he's written a few. No connection with the movie industry. Peter, you can write me at firstsergeantlittletop at gmail.com. I don't know a lot of people in the movie industry that accept scripts. I know a couple people who write a lot and have submitted stuff. But I can't make you no promises, buddy. That's a, that's a rough road to hoe right there. It's very, very competitive. But, all right, well, I'll tell you what. I just wanted to check in with y'all over the weekend. If I got some time, I may just check in again, all right? If y'all need anything, holler at me, right? I mean, send me, I've been started getting some emails from all over the place, and I like talking to people out there, all right? Y'all got any questions? All right, it's good talking to you. Y'all have a good day. Little top out.